Hello to all. Here, City 7 AHV. Today, I'm with my Kenwood TS590S, where I want to install an IF buffer to pick up the signal and uh, insert it on my SDR to provide a waterfall that is very useful uh, when I'm working contests or when I'm making DX. Like the ICOM 7300, we have a screen with waterfall and pan adapter and I want that function also in my Kenwood TS590. So, here we go. Okay, first I want to show you this board was purchased from SDR Kids. I will put in comment the website where I bought. This is a IF buffer for 12 megahertz. I also bought another here. This is for 85 megahertz bandwidth. I bought it to install on my TS2000. Maybe next video will be the installation. Okay, what they say? Panoramic adapter from SDR kits. High impedance input, 50 ohm output, gain 0 dB nominal and uh, 10 to 12 volt DC power supply. Okay, we have what we need here. Okay, I was studying the circuit of the radio, particularly on this board. This is TXRX unit board, this board. I removed and now I'm installing it again. There is no need to remove the board but for study purposes it was better to me to remove it now I'm connecting all the things I removed on our all connectors all coaxial connectors have on the board 
the identification of the wire. This is red on the board says red. It is a little difficult to make a mistake in this order. It is well made like always from Kenwood. I think I can do a better job here. Okay, I reattached all connectors, everything seems fine. This radio is still totally original, like it came from the factory. So, I find a tap for the second intermediary frequency, it is here, and I will tap here to feed the EIF buffer. Okay, so here is the second IF. I have the first and the second amplifier of the second IF. Sorry, the, the second and the third amplifier of the second IF. And I have here a tap where it says second IF out two. I don't know where is the first. It seems this is the second, but I will tap here on my circuit to feed the IF buffer. After remove the board, I found I have here I don't know if you can see on the record but here is where I can tap that point this point is on the bottom part of the board this is on the bottom it has a hole to here and here is where I will connect uh, a pigtail of coaxial cable to feed IF buffer okay 
Okay, I have the end of my cable ready. I will prepare the point to solder on the radio.
so it seems it is working okay I need to optimize my my screen I want to see the spots with the pen adapter on my screen when I'm working contest and uh, I have my SDR play connected to the radio to a tap on the second intermediary frequency okay it is rooted by here next uh, before close the radio I will attach this coax this new coax uh, with some brackets to the other cables but everything is working job done I will just uh, change the original connectors UHF connectors to type N because I use type N in everything and uh, that's it is working any questions please comment and I will help I will help if I if I know okay 73